we will start the session in a few moments am i audible sir yes sir you are audible Good morning, everyone. I'm Manushree from MBA Tech CE second year, and I'm Samad Verma from MBA Tech IT third year. We welcome you all today on this beautiful Saturday morning for an interesting session on augmented and virtual reality. Augmented and virtual reality is today's most talked topic of technology, made before work or business purpose or fun. At least forty percent of all businesses will die in the next ten years if they don't figure out how to change the entire company to accommodate new technologies. So to elaborate more and dust away the clouds of myths, this week we have Mr. Sashank Shah, who is working on various complex equipment visualization and training in virtual environment. Mr. Sashank Shah has done M Pharma from NMIMS, Greenwell Clean, Six Sigma from KPMG. PGDM from Willinger Institute and has a lot of work experience in different domains such as operations, operational excellence, quality audit, compliance, corporate strategy, international CMO development, project management, and purchase. He is currently exploring various possibilities of augmented and virtual reality, and also exploring metaverse and immersive world opportunity for an organization. Without further ado, I would now like to welcome Mr. Shashank Shah. So, sir, how are you doing today? Thank you. I am doing the wonderful, and it has been a great pleasure to interacting with all of you. I hope uh, you all are enjoying your campus life. We are enjoying it to the fullest, sir. Great, great to hear that. Sir, so as you have a pharmaceutical background, what motivated you to explore and drive into augmented and virtual reality? So, so you always have to, you know, upgrade your skills and with the upcoming innovation and the market changes. Okay, and uh, digitalization is something a need of an hour, and I believe that AR and VR is looks very promising. Uh, currently, industries, you know, the pharmaceutical industry or any engineering or any companies, they are doing the training with the you know SOP readings and maybe the you know presentations. Okay, but the it. limits the you know training effectiveness the training effectiveness in terms of the you know how much they understand and how much they implement in their real practices that is something a very much a challenging part and uh, the challenge this challenge is with respect to the you know our brain because you know our brain have a, a hippocampus so where you know our memory gets stored and now when when you read and you see the presentation you have a, you can grab a very limited memories but when when you see the visuals uh, you can store you know the double amount of the memory so you know the uh, the motivation is the you know uh, to seeing the movie rather than the reading the books so 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 when you read you have to you know focus on uh, your sleep your brain your current uh, you know uh, quiet environment the topic uh, which you are reading your language you should understand you have to understand the author so these are the you know the uh, challenges are there and ar we are not only bringing the virtual uh, training but is also bringing the you know virtual environment so you can feel it and you can you know 
the memory will you know the retention will be getting increased in with this ar and vr and uh, most of the organization need the you know less human error weaker training and you know, train workforce so this uh, ha- technology have a you know tremendous potential and you know a so motivation factor is the you know uh, the seeing the movies <laughs> that perfectly sir so uh, we would like to hear from you in the nutshell about your work experience in different pharmaceutical companies from 2013 to 2020 so last uh, uh, mm, i guess it's a very engaging uh, and uh, i will say with each passing day i am getting more engaged and uh, uh, with this pharmaceutical technologies and the uh, is a industry and uh, it's like if you sometimes feel like you know magnetic so you know i can involve more and more with the you know a new innovation and maybe the you know a challenges with respect to the technologies and uh, the few learnings with this pharmaceutical in entire uh, years of experience is you know the problem solving the logical reasoning which is currently missing and the, you know the finding critical thinking and creativity so that is something i thought that it could be a you know uh, a learning point or maybe the you know uh, the important point of my last tenure that was a great experience sir uh, sir could you please ex- uh, give an audience a brief explanation idea of what augmented reality and virtual reality is yeah sure so ar is a uh, uh, ar and vr is you know bridge the a physical world and a digital world so you know it's a bridging the gap and uh, they allow the you know uh, information and content visually uh, to take and then uh, also will take you into that world okay so augmented reality is something you know where the questions are will get overlay and uh, visual content and information on real world so you will find the you know the uh, let let's see with the, you know one of the a uh, video i am just can i share my screen yes yeah okay i'm just giving you the you know because you guys are the, you know doing the for uh amtech btech or maybe the b farm m farm with the mba so this might be your your you know relevant area and you will also get understand and giving one example of the uh, dr redis uh, which is uh, you know the companies of pharmaceutical and how they do the marketing uh, i am just giving the example of that one now voice is there or not just let me know but it is not audible okay I hope now sound is there. Uh, not yet, sir. No. so i'm just explaining the you know how uh, maybe if sound is not there so uh, this is a you know some app they have developed ar 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 app augmented reality app so what they ex- exactly they do they you know demonstrated with the you know two different products one is syrup a and syrup b so do you see that you know in a environment when you use the mobile they can see the two different syrups 
and this syrups uh, one is dr redis and one is you know other brand so they have a uh, categorize that you know the person the both person are facing with you know cough and then uh, then they will about about the you know cough and symptoms is now uh, they actually both of them uh, uh, will take the you know medicine syrup a and syrup b so syrup b is you know dr reddy syrup okay and they will take the medicine and uh, yeah and then afterwards they elaborate the you know mechanism of action and uh, in that after taking a you know medicine how the you know it will get react okay so this is something you know in augmented reality they have elaborated and uh, and after the you know what dose they have to take that is also explained to the augmented reality so this is something uh, you know just to engage the uh, doctor or maybe the audience uh, who can you know the uh, understand about their product and marketing strategy so you know Uh, so that is something a new idea which you know the new uh, you know companies we are coming up with the so do, do you see that you know the person be syrup be the syrup be have a less symptom a soothing effect okay so that is the you know the overall objective of the uh, a small ar how er works so in a marketing specifically with respect to the marketing so so that is something that they have come up with the new idea to engage the doctor and to convince them that why their syrup is better than the other products and when we talk about the you know a virtual reality so virtual reality is little bit different where you have to wear the glasses so um, in virtual reality you can bring at any person to anywhere so also give me the you know very small example with respect to the your interest area uh, this is with respect to the engineering so here basically they have a warning of the loss of the pressure in the cooling system and uh, in cooling system they have to uh, see how to operate when you know cooling uh, any disturbance is there so so this in a virtual world you will get you yeah, this person is getting the training okay so this person is going uh, to the you know once he uh, heard the alarms then he went to the you know particular location and then uh, now this is this entire thing is in a virtual you cannot connect with the real world okay whereas in ar world that is a real world and there will be you know overlaying is over there here the entire thing will be in a virtual you cannot see what outside is going on so th that is something a difference between the uh, basic difference between the ar and vr but uh, here you can see that you know the uh, it gives the training so what to do have, what you have to do the next so these are the steps which you know he will follow and uh, he will get trained with respect to the you know if any breakdown occur during the industry so what uh, rather than going to panic what he has to do also there will be you know two more one is the examination mode and one is the training mode so in a training mode you will get the, all the messages but when you have a examination mode this messages will be, will get uh, will not be there so so therefore you know the person examination and how much he's got trained that is also can be evaluated as well as the you know step by step what he has to do the next task that is also uh, can be captured so so this is something uh, uh, this is a, this is an example of the vr so so i hope you had a little bit idea about the you know what is a ar and what is a vr i'm sure that our audience got perfect idea about what vr and ar is and with the videos uh, they got a clear understanding of what uh, beautiful applications this uh, domain have uh, uh, and so uh, can you please explain in detail the three types of uh, vr which are named as non immersive semi immersive and 
fully immersive uh, used today to transform uh, the world around us yeah so basically uh, a video game which you play with the joystick is a non immersive so the technology which is a you know computer generated environment and it allows the user to stay aware and keep the control of the you know your physical environment so that is a you know uh, non immersive okay the semi immersive is the you know a flight simulator or uh, maybe you know i think most of you if uh, you have undergone with the you know car learning practice so maruti have a, you know their own immersive virtual reality so that learning is also you know uh, a semi immersive or maybe the um, let me see if any example is there so this uh, car gaming i think all of us must uh, you know uh, we have experience but this is an example of semi immersive okay so this car uh, playing or you know bike ride i think we have uh, all have a experience and this is something called as a you know a semi immersive where you know the uh, often consist of this large and canvas screen concave screen and uh, in imax cinema is also few of the last clear screen experience they are doing with this semi immersive so it's required the high end uh, computer graphics and uh, uh, fully immersive is you know the this one where you just wear this glass and the see the entire thing into the uh, fully immersive world with the 3d graphics and the visual so so that is something uh, you know with the 3d effects and it having the you know uh vr glasses so this is called the you know a uh, head mounted device or display where everything will get uh, you know you will see inside this one uh, so this is the you know called as a full immersive so that is the difference between the non semi and full immersive thing. thank you sir for providing us insight on this topic so what is the major difference between augmented reality and virtual reality yes so basically a virtual reality have a you know a 75 to 100 percent virtual because you cannot see what is outside is going on uh, ar is 25 percent of virtual and 75 percent of the real activities because it overlays into the you know uh, into the markers okay so that is called as a uh, that is a major difference uh, we are always have a headset so which i just displayed to you so it having a headset headset device and ar is always always accessible with the you know smartphone and tablet so that is i think we we saw in dr reddy's example also vr uh, user moves in a complete fictional world so they cannot see what is currently going in a real world okay and whereas ar user can be connected with the real world also so this three are the major uh, you know differences between the you know Uh, augmented and virtual reality. So then, what is the uh, definition of mixed reality? So, mixed reality is also contains the, the is this a mixture of the AR and VR? So, uh, when you have to do the you know a cleaning procedure or maybe the you know uh, if I say that you know yeah, so do you see the that we environment video of the you know. Cool, cooling compressor machine which uh, virtual reality okay if i put some markers over there okay and my glass is transparent okay let me give you the uh, screenshot of the one of the So do, do you see these are the you know various uh, you know head devices. So when you wear this up to this one, the Samsung gear, the cardboard of the Google's, the Oculus of the Facebook, HTC, LG, PlayStation. These are the example of the you know virtual reality. But when you come with the you know Hololens and this the downside to these three one, 
okay it gives the experience of the you know uh, a mixed reality where you know you have a, a markers also present where you see the you know augmented things also and the you know virtual reality also so both other things can be uh, you know uh, here you can uh, you you will get the message also so what is a uh, is there any uh, procedural messages and also you have to connect with the someone else okay so you can connect also so that is also and there is one more version where you have only small glasses only on a one eye okay so these are the you know example of the you know a mixed reality and so everything has its upsides and downsides so what are the few downsides of ar and vr technology yeah so ar and vr downside i think say that you know uh, it will you know deteriorate little bit of human connection maybe you know if because it's having a addiction of the virtual world people tend to get addicted and uh, currently it is very expensive technology and uh, privacy and security is currently challenging also it promotes the uh, risky behavior and the physical discomfort will be there but under uh, and also a few of the like you know under age of uh, 13 or maybe the pregnant ladies or maybe the suffering from the heart disease so these are the people are not encouraged to be much to the you know this uh, virtual reality because uh, uh, sometime it may you know cause a problem to them also so these are the uh, you know currently downsides are there Uh, traveling and exploring is a journey that one's enjoy physically bringing in the digital platform might take away the essence of it so what is the opinion on this so see the connect to the nature and the natural air and breathe it will not it never be the uh, it never be replaceable it will be irreplaceable always but digital platform provides you know opportunity to help everyone and to connect everyone it's like traveling uh, just think about the, you know a disabled person who cannot able to travel or maybe the you know uh, maybe financially challenged person who would like to travel abroad but uh, he would like to explore uh, in a virtual world okay so this gives them you know the a feel and the experience which is you know quite memorable so that is the advantage and uh, the it will not get replaced very easily because few people love to travel so as we got uh, an idea of what uh, ar vr does uh, in travel industry so so as you know teens are more towards gaming through ar and vr so do you think that this will be the main reason behind the reduction in physical activities of teens and restricted to a software rather than realistic world so currently ar and vr is a little bit expensive affairs so therefore uh, maybe the uh, addiction will not be very limited and uh, except the pokemon go so i think we we see many cases is exceptional case where you know people get uh, so much uh, addicted and uh, a lot of you know the uh, the side effects and also the you know the cases we heard uh, so that is something uh, but physical activity it uh, they always uh, you know it will be get restricted if you get you know addicted so if the addiction is not there then it will uh, it will not get uh, reduced but uh, nevertheless you know the people will you know find a solution for this one also because uh, this is not something uh, uh, you know a so stopper to stop this technology as you said expensive and due to the vast amount of software and the data that sits at the back of its technology it requires very capable hardware looking at the current market the current headset and gear that is required for this is very expensive and fairly bulky this certainly is a barrier for faster adaptation in everyday life how do you think this will be solved and by when can you expect it so um, so first of all you have to understand about the you know what are the hardware and the things to be you know utilizing this development okay so as we see that you know various designs and uh, publication platform like oculus which i just demonstrated oculus htc uh, you know the uh, microsoft hololens so see, these are the you know a publication platform where you can see the you know entire 
content so this is you know the uh, it get with the geo and the korean brands coming up with the you know a cheaper version and the cost effective version so it will get you know the currently is pricing somewhere around 50000 to 200k but it get you know reduce further down to the you know at least 5 10x so this is something uh, we can reduce uh, expectation then afterwards there is a you know a designing of the product software so you have to do the you know a ui and ux development so it contains you know a 3d modeling and the animation so this uh, you know development from the you know a uh, software like blender or 3dx or maya okay adobe you can also use so these are the you know one time cost so skilled animation industry can reduce this cost okay so that is also one of the factor and there will be a third factor which is a which, which is a recurring factor okay so which cost will you have to pay you know every every year basis so this could be the you know your apis application uh, programming interface your vr engines so vr engines and for your software development kit so these are the things you can i think uh, is absolutely required because of the you know when you have to when you have to take the feelings okay so with the you know javascript api you, it can allows the experience into vr and uh, unity and Un unreal engine it, it these are the vr engine that can give the absolute game engine experience and it will be interactive so two people can come and interact with each other even you know the uh, there will be a, you know you can party into the you know uh, in a virtual world so there will be you know uh, i think I, i'm not sure if you heard or not but you know there is a separate a cafe or you know the uh, dance bar where every people has to wear the this vr and they dance okay so they will you know it's a also there where 100 100 100 people get engaged into the you know one session so so these are the you know uh, to take a free experience you have to develop these things the vr engines and the software development kit and then so these are recurring costs which can be reduced uh, and it is not something uh, you know the take a great burden uh, and the last is you know the testing development and bug fixing so i think uh, so this can be easily you know uh, reduce the cost once we have a skilled manpower currently uh, industry is uh, uh, getting a challenges with respect to the skilled manpower uh, we got a perfect insight on the hardware significance in uh, ar and vr So the lockdown brought almost everything on screen and was going virtual. So is there any advancements in AR VR after the lockdown? Uh, so did it become better than before? Yes, yes. So uh, before lockdown, it's a very limited usage. I think uh, I I think industry have a hard very limited examples. Okay, after the lockdown, it's completely changed. I think uh, you know digitalization. Everyone move towards digitalization. and uh, now afterwards the you know this concept is coming more and more because and also you know facebook has a once la launched this metaverse then you know it is you know uh, spreading everywhere so after lockdown yes definitely uh, domino effect has been observed and uh, we we think uh, we have observed that you know now people is also accepting the you know uh, a new changes very uh, digitalization thing okay the earlier people little bit of have hesitance with respect to digitalization but now people are also accepting the things and also if you ever seen the example of the byju's growth so byju's also have a you know uh, earlier people is used to uh, learn into the you know classrooms and the you know uh, into the you know physical sessions okay now that is also a little bit change not now it is people also shifting towards the back but you know still you know the byju's have a great business and they are also doing a very well with the you know virtual uh, kind of you know education platform so so a lot of things have been changed so we got a clear insight about everything so so uh, like what in your opinion is metaverse could the facebook metaverse be truly successful and what are some of the challenges uh, they might face and what are its possible solutions so metaverse uh, yes i think it's having a great potential because if you see this 2022 so 2022 it created more than a 
a billion uh, investment into the just metaverse whether it's companies with respect to the essential or maybe the essential is already you know uh, entire uh, their training in induction and everything has been shifted to the you know, me, you know uh, metaverse so that is something you know companies like hugely investing also like gucci and the you know uh, puma and the adidas like the brand they are also investing and they are creating their they are thinking about their in establishing their stores into the you know uh, metaverse so that land is going to be a quite expensive into the you know metaverse so uh, a bloomberg if i if i say about the you know a consultant firm like you know the intelligence platform like bloomberg and the uh, so they expected you know by 2024 it can metaverse can heat up to the 800 million billion market and the morgan has estimated that you know it could be somewhere around 8 trillion of you know the uh, total of a value valuation so its potential is huge but uh, limitation will be there you know the co countries like you know the uh, who are not so much digitalized or maybe the you know who are facing the uh, because it's a long 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 way to the you know it will establish in all country because uh, demographic challenges and the income status and the background it will not fully you know supported to the metaverse so challenges definitely will be there uh, so nevertheless what it will uh, maybe happen in future very soon as you said about baiju uh, and about multi multiple industries adapting this domain so so how exactly can ar vr be applicable to different domains of business if you can uh, give some examples okay okay actually i have a very good video for this one so and i hope this time voice will play so you know uh, let let's see with the you know few of the example of the ar okay just let me know because with the videos you can uh, you know understand better i will speak but you know uh, videos give you the you know more clarity so you know your hippocampus will get awake <laughs> Screen. Is it uh, audible? Let me know. Huh? Is there? Uh, no, sir, not. You can explain this video too to us, sir. <laughs> uh, let me try one more one more time. Huh? Sorry for your inconvenience, but uh, let me try one more time because this is a very good video. If you can see into the um, Visual elements, sound, or other sensory stimuli. Many augmented reality use cases we'll see in the future, like in education. Augmented reality has a number of applications that can help improve the learning experience for students, especially for more visual focused learners. One of the primary advantages of augmented reality is the ability for a student to inspect a 3D hologram from many different angles. By moving around a virtual object or rotating it in space, they can better examine and understand certain concepts. This alone can revolutionize learning in topics like biology, anatomy, cosmology, geometry, and more. 
Augmented reality also enables students to benefit from at-home experimental learning. Students can run scientific and mathematical simulations in 3D space and view the results from every angle. For example, students can see how certain medications affect various organs in the human body, and they can adjust various physical conditions on a virtual planet to see how those conditions affect its ability to support life. This kind of learning is more likely to be memorable and understood by students compared to other methods. Number two, appliances, furniture, and other tangible products. There are already over a dozen smartphone apps that can make this possible. But they are, customers click on the product and instantly see it overlaid wherever they point their mobile device. That means customers can see how appliances and furniture look in their homes. In this scenario, customers could quickly change types of appliances and furniture, colors, sizes, and so forth. This is excellent for visualizing room arrangements and color matching before making a purchase. Shopify AR is an example of a tool that already allows customers to view products in natural environments before buying them. This is to ensure that the products are a good fit for the purpose intended. Even though this technology already exists, it will only become more seamless and user-friendly over time. Number three, clothing and fashion. Augmented reality simulates in-person shopping experiences online by allowing customers to see how a product might look on them. For example, customers can see how virtual versions of jackets, footwear, jewelry, makeup, and sunglasses look on them. Some people call this virtual fitting room technology, and its global market is projected to hit 10 billion by 2027. Smartphones, smart glasses, and other handheld and wearable devices will provide the bulk of these experiences. Smart mirrors are another way to use augmented reality to facilitate these types of experiences. Many large retail chains like Ralph Lauren and H&M are already featuring smart mirrors in their stores. Number four, Jarvis-like virtual assistants. A company called Mojo is currently developing AR lens with micro-LED displays that place information inside a wearer's eyes. Its first priority is to help people struggling with poor vision by providing better contrast or the ability to zoom in on objects. But eventually, the lenses will be made available to everyone and could be used to show things like health tracking stats, text messages, weather reports, and more. It could also help us enhance our sight in low light conditions or serve as a teleprompter for speaking events. Eventually, AR lens and AR glasses could be used to augment the world around us and even facilitate virtual assistants with the help of sophisticated AI. Depending on what permissions you grant to a virtual assistant's software, it could listen to all of your conversations, read your emails, monitor your blood chemistry, and more. With access to all of this data, this AI-enabled software would learn your preferences, anticipate your needs and behaviors, shop for you, monitor your health, and help you navigate toward your mid- and long-term goals. Number five, the creation of the metaverse. The combination of augmented reality, virtual reality, AI, 5G networks, and other technologies will make an open metaverse possible. The metaverse refers to a convergence of physical, augmented, and virtual reality in a shared online space. The metaverse is the next step in the internet's evolution. You can think of the metaverse as a 4D version of the current internet. The metaverse can be thought of as an internet that you're inside of rather than one that you're merely looking at. It will impact every industry in existence. Number six, outdoor and indoor navigation. AR could make it easier to navigate in outdoor and indoor environments. For indoors, a line could overlay the ground and guide you toward a destination in a large airport, an airport parking lot, a large mall, an office building, a college campus, and so on. For outdoors, instead of typing in an address in your map software, you will be able to point to a location and the directions will pop up automatically and you can follow an AR-created trail on the ground, perhaps with consideration to physical obstacles that might be in the way. Additionally, you could point to an object, such as a building, and receive information about it without even knowing what it's for. Number seven, healthcare. There are three big roles AR could play in the future of healthcare. Consumer education. AR can help patients understand the benefits and risks of certain medications and procedures by providing visual demonstrations and simulations. Assisting doctors. AR can help doctors by creating simulations of how certain procedures should be done, and it can help medical students by offering a very intuitive representation of the human body. Medication sales. The competition among drug makers is fierce, and even the slightest advantage can lead to huge sales. If a salesperson is trying to gain the attention of doctors towards a new medication, they can use virtual simulations to demonstrate the positive effects of the drug. Number eight, automotive industry. AR heads-up displays can help drivers process information that enhances their view of roads. 
This type of display can make drivers aware of potential hazards occurring ahead of them on their commutes. They can also make it easier to navigate than the traditional map software could due to customized visuals that are tailored to the terrain. Car manufacturers like Nissan, Audi, and Volvo already use this type of technology. Additionally, AR can be used for automotive marketing. BMW and Accenture designed an AR application that enables customers to experience a new car in the driveway without having to go to a dealership. Customers can also see what their virtual car looks like in different colors. Number 9. Sporting Events In the United States, the Major League Baseball League is exploring the possibility of using analytics data from its Hawkeye baseball tracking system to create AR experiences by having precise data on where players and the ball are on the field at all times during the match. AR delivery in a virtual space can be accomplished with a greater degree of accuracy and realism using this type of data. It seems likely that data from other sports such as soccer, American football, golf, and others could use the same strategy to provide AR experiences to fans. Number 10. Virtual User Instructions and Assembly Instructions AR-based virtual user manuals can display 3D holograms, overlays, and visual instructions in the form of 3D animations for products such as vehicles, refrigerators, cameras, and more. And when it comes to assembly instructions, you'll be able to see the construction of items such as desks, cabinets, and more in many phases in the form of 3D holograms and 3D animations. Thanks for watching. To learn more about augmented reality, make sure to watch the video to the So looking at the examples of RN matter matrix certainly has excited us and we wish to work in this domain. So sir, what are the points a pressure should keep in his mind before entering this domain? And what are the perks an individual would get by entering into this field? And can you share about any program that you assisted on or uh, worked on recently for assistance? Yeah, so um, it can be you know, for the freshers or for the, for the you know any person who would like to learn this you know the for this entire thing is a uh, is a great because you know the currently challenges are very less and uh, also the you know you will be a soon a poster boy into the you know your organization wherever you are working because uh, this is something a bare skilled manpower is currently lacking and and uh, due to the you know uh, resource scarcity and competing priorities uh, these are the you know challenges are there but uh, uh, let if i give you the you know example how you can make the career so uh, just hold on. Uh, I'm just sharing you the one. Sir, uh, you're on mute. Can you please unmute? Yeah, can you see my screen right now or not? So you are not audible. Am I audible now? Yes. Yeah. So so do you see this company is a Meta? Okay, who is a created this entire technology? Uh, not entire technology, but you know the, the uh, f uh, filling up the gaps of the you know the uh, the wall. Uh, the you can see that you know one eighty two openings are there. Okay, who has already created this technology is, you know, the having openings. So you can understand the resource scarcity. And if you see that, you know, how you can make the future. So, you know, you have a four opportunities over there, hardware, where, you know, you can prepare this um, uh, Oculus or some kind of hardware who can be really uh, lightweight and it will be easy, transparent, and how you can connect to the real world and the virtual within a second. That is something uh, uh, research is currently going on. The second is software, where you can prepare a software where, where I, uh, you know, demonstrate a few of the APIs and the things. So you can also do, you know, animation, uh, the 3D uh, vectors. Okay, so these are, these are things you can do. 
uh, also you can do the research lab and you also you know bring the products so these are just a small example of how you can make the uh, carrier uh, so yeah so that is i think uh, and uh, about my currently we are exploring the uh, two three project with respect to the you know uh, cleaning and the automation uh, cleaning and the removal of the uh, complex equipment which is a uh, costing around more than 5 crore and uh, to giving a training of such a instrument and uh, uh, to train them is extremely critical so therefore we are working on that that kind of projects i'm sure that uh, everyone who are excited to work in this uh, domain are have got a perfect idea what we are uh, very aspects are uh, so sir uh, like since business transformation and innovation requires a very different mindset than just technologies so how do you manage to keep both hand in hand okay so it's a quite tricky question but uh, no, business transformation is required the you know a business need okay what is a business need and innovation is something separate so you have to merge that what is the current email business need versus the what it what current innovation you can bring now if you if you have if you have followed the steve jobs the steve jobs always mention that you know the your heart will always want to do a uh, things which is you know breakthrough technology okay now i the vr vr is something very fascinating i would like to implement okay but what is a business need does the business requires the, this kind of you know costly you know equipments or the trainings okay uh, so therefore you know you have to merge you know the both the you know the concept you know business transformation where you know require the business need and you have to transfer with with your innovation okay so so it is very exciting as well as you know a very uh nicely you have to critically analyze the or each aspect of the you know a transformation and so uh, since you have expertise in both pharmaceuticals and ai vr domain so what are the uh, different work or education purpose where have you been uh, the best experience uh so yeah for pharma i can say that you know pharma is currently uh, having a, a complex equipment and the technologies and the critical methods okay which are very difficult to understand okay so ndds program like you know the uh, new drug delivery system trainings okay the company introduction or maybe the you know because whenever the auditor come and if you know this ar vr tool can be used so you know they get you know amazed with the you know technology which company is using the preventive maintenance the cooling chamber breakdown which we saw into the first time okay first uh, first to a second video that is something also we can you know uh, develop and uh, there are many things number of things we can do um, with respect to the pharma or any engineering or even in marketing only you know we required a uh, uh, good people who knows the how to execute the project so i guess there is a question in the chat box uh, that states that uh, which indian company is the leading player in the ar vr domain so in there are multiple developers are there like you know google or maybe the you know a tata alexi and uh, even tcs and uh, mm, i think xr studio is also there who is a uh, Uh, so there are multiple companies are there who is currently trying to grab the opportunity but uh, somewhere uh, we believe that you know it is yet to be you know to be established player to become established player you re- required you know a lot of execution of the projects okay and if i see there is a uh, siemens or uh, godrej has also implemented the you know this ar vr programs into their training Uh, trainings and induction type of uh, you know the a session but uh, it is let people are trying and evaluating because it's a costly thing so you know people are staying finding the ways to you know uh, optimize the things yes it is by uh, sir so by coming across whole profile we saw that you had been uh, to so many cities for different work and education purpose so where did you have your best experience so each each experience was unique 
I, I will say that you know the whether it's a city or maybe the education, it's it's a uh, because each each you know have a help me to grow. And uh, but I will say that you know the NMIM and Shirbo campus was a really mesmerizing. Sir, uh, like as previously you mentioned uh, about the pro program that you assisted in. So, can you please provide a uh, proper end-to-end -end roadmap? Our audience have asked this question in the chat box. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So basically, you know, first of all, you have to identify the, you know, uh, whether you would like to. What is your business need? Okay. Like uh, uh, currently, my business need uh, about the, you know, is a training. Okay. Complex equipment training. Okay. So and uh, well, which kind of uh, does it you know the having a return of investment is there? Okay, what is the current challenge? Is my current training program is lacking, or uh, what is uh, my current challenge? So I have to understand the you know a uh, few of the areas like pain point. Okay, so once I understand the pain point, like you know the currently I having a challenge with respect to the uh, a training of the you know and handling of the equipment com component parts. Okay. So these are the current challenges. Now the training is only possible with the you know uh, when you have a live experience. Okay. Now how to create a live experience? Because AR will not help you the live experience. AR will only help you with respect to the uh, uh, markers who can guide you. Okay. So therefore, I have we have decided to go with the VR. Now for the VR development, uh, uh, which kind of you know uh, equipment you would like to use like. Uh, uh, whether you have Oculus, HoloLens, because there are multiple other things that are available. So you have to understand with the you know costing and the budgeting, that might be the you know Oculus Quest 2 is a, one of the most uh, uh, not the advanced one, but one one of the best, most acceptable you know the uh, prototype. And it's uh, this head mounting device having a huge success. So you will use it. We have a use that Facebook Oculus 2. And then afterwards, you know the uh, whether you have an in-house team or not. Okay, so in-house team will create a burden without because this is a you know pilot project which all the companies are running. Okay, so you always outsource the technology. Okay, so we have outsourced the technology with respect to the you know uh, building the VR engines and we have a then uh, 3D model uh, development and then we. Uh, once they prepare, we have to continuously review that you know whether the model has been built properly or not. They took the you know entire videography and then they convert into the 3D modeling, and uh, then they develop the UI and UX. Then they prepare the script. Then they do the dubbing the, because of the you know you have to provide the different version uh, like you know English, Hindi, Gujarati, so everyone even can e understand whatever the local language will be over there. And uh, once it's get you know everything get clear, then you know after the review you have to see that you know whether uh, it is easy to use or not because you know most of the ergonomics is very much critical because a person who has the specs uh, will not like to you know wear more about the uh, you know this kind of you know the head device they get so currently it is uh, few people get you know the get challenges with respect to the you know wearing uh, this kind of device. And uh, you would also understand their eye, eye movements and their hand movements because this is something you know hand and eye movements will decide your you know entire uh, end to end uh, uh, you know the visualization. Okay, so if you have a more uh, you know the movements, so it will also end uh, it will also you know create the problem. So so these are the you know small small things so you you know uh, during the development I think individual will get the more experience. But uh, yeah, so this is the so far, you know, uh, a development uh, experience we have. So we got a clear idea of, of the roadmap. So what is the one last thought you would like to leave the audience with? So one last thought is I'd say that, you know, opportunity is limitless. Okay, it's up to you how you grab it or create it. Uh, stay hungry, stay foolish, and uh, you have a great time in your campus. You have an in-house campus, so do develop and implement one ARVR project. 
for whether you are engineering student or maybe the you know pharma student you can easily implement this project So as the old saying goes, all good things must come to an end, and this has never rang true than making in uh, closing speeches. So with this, let's conclude today's wonderful and informative session. I personally learned a lot from today's session. I got a clear idea of about what AR and VR is, and its immense applications in across all the domains. So I, on behalf of our entire Senate and M team and student community, would like to thank Mr. Sushant Shah for sparing his precious time and interacting with our students. Thank you. I thank too you. learned a lot about uh, different applications of AR VR. So thank you so much for all the valuable insights. We would li uh, like to extend our gratitude to Dr. Akshay Lotra, our faculty mentors, Dr. Samita Wonderwam, and Harshal Kothwal sir, for their co constant support and guidance. Lastly, we would like to extend warm thanks to all the participants of today's session. Thank you for giving us company and making this uh, session successful. Thank you. Thank you so much.